from the Tata Group and the statements made by the Tata's top boss N Chandrasekharan to shareholders at the ta for, of Tata Motors, making big promises. N Chandrasekharan has promised shareholders that Tata Motors will top priority is to reduce debt and to also improve the product portfolio. Not just that, uh, N Chandrasekharan has said his big goal and the promise is to try and bring down the net debt of Tata Motors to zero over the next three years. So how big is the debt? Well, currently Tata Motors net automotive debt is at 48,000 crore rupees. So that's what uh, N Chandrasekharan is looking to make to zero in three years time. Sounding optimistic, the Tata Sun stock boss informed the Tata Motors shareholders that the company plans to get cash flow positive, that's free cash flow positive incidentally, by financial year 2022. So important commentary coming in from N. Chandra when it comes to cutting down the debt levels. Now, he's mentioned about you know getting the debt levels down, but this is the first time N. Chandra has gone ahead and said that they will get to a zero debt levels in a period of three years. What is the current debt of the company? 48,000 crores. How will the company do it? Angela didn't really you know, give us a timeline or the measures that will do so. Uh, he mentioned a couple of them. First one was obviously cutting down investment. 50% current investments and capex last year. He said that this will continue for the coming years as well. So not a lot of money to be spent on capex is for sure. Then he spoke about getting rid of the non-core assets of the company that can generate a lot of money. But if you look at the current structure of Tata Motors, we'll have to really find out which will be those non-core assets. More importantly, the thing which we know of is the company is looking to find a partner for the passenger vehicle business. But we have reported before as well uh, that if you look at the Korean manufacturers and European manufacturers, not a lot of them have a lot of money right now. Uh, it is the Chinese players which have money. They were talking to Chinese players, in fact, they were in initial talks, but with the you know, given conflict in the India-China border, uh, those talks will have to be uh, really taken really slowly at this point of time. This is what I've been told by my sources. So that is one area they look to get money. Then what's important is the JLR business. Remember, 80% uh, of Tata Motors is JLR and to revive that is something which will be very important to cut, you know, cost there or getting a new partner in there will be something which will be very important, but clearly an important, uh, you know, at least roadmap uh, set by N. Chandra. We'll have to really wait and watch will and how will that be executed. Taking a leaf out of Reliance Industries' book, uh, Tata Motors has also decided to go debt-free in the next three years. Uh, none other than N. Chandrasekharan, the, uh, the chairman of Tata Sons, has given out this statement during the AGM today, saying that they want to significantly bring down their debt. Right now, if you look at it, they have a net automotive debt of 48,000 crores. They are uh, deleveraging this business significantly, according to Mr. N. Chandra. Uh, they set a target to bring down the debt, which is three years, which was not not a uh, part of their commentary all this while. Yes, they've been talking about uh, becoming, uh, uh, generating positive free cash flow by, F by FY22. They've been talking about tight cost controls as well. Mr. Balaji has repeatedly quarter after quarter also given uh, this statement that uh, cost rationalization is something that they're looking at very seriously at JLR as well as at Tata Motors. Now, the company's uh, current debt uh, levels definitely are unsustainable and that's something that the management has said in the past as well. They are uh, taking a lot of actions which are currently underway to lower the debt by improving their operational performance. JLR now becoming uh, cash positive by FY22 will be extremely critical to achieve this speed. But right now, given the debt uh, position of the company, Everybody has been concerned about it. Multiple investment group brokerages have talked about it, have downgraded it also, the stock in the recent past, uh, because of their uh, extremely concerning debt position. But now that uh, the chairperson of the group itself is talking about a clear-cut timeline and about unlocking value from non-core assets, we finally have some clarity in that direction. Yes, there was uh, expectations, there was news about uh, Tata Motors hiving off their... Uh, PV, their domestic PV business as well. The management, of course, has dismissed those uh, news reports. But let's see what will be the domains or the verticals where they will be unlocking value from. But for now, clearly the stock, the market seem to be cheering this uh, commentary big time.